Hey, welcome to 62 to Freedom. This is Build Day 102. And that's the original gangster that's going down. <laughs> it's early in the morning, it's like 7.30. You know, I'm expecting a cement delivery this morning and also expecting rain. So, I don't know which one will get here first. I hope the cement gets here and we can get it put away before the time comes. The truck is not here, so I think it gets here around eight o'clock. Uh, normally when it's the early delivery. Supposedly they loaded up the truck on, uh, you know, they worked half a day Sunday at the delivery place where I get all my cement and bar and stuff. And then they packed the truck up and then all they got to do is drive here in the morning. I don't know what time they start really, probably eight. I don't know, the driver usually gets there around eight, so. We might be starting around 7, 7.30. So, hopefully he gets an early start today and we can beat the rain. But, I'm just not sure. I don't know what we'll do if it does rain. I guess we'll, you know, whatever he's got on the truck will be uh, covered by a tarp that, you know, he can't get wet, I'm sure. It, even if it rains, it don't get wet. But once they start unloading it, if it starts raining in the middle of it, we will have to uh, put a tarp over it ourselves. So that's where we stand at on that on that delivery. Anyway, I'm happy with the progress. You know, it's continuing on. Uh, pretty soon next week, we'll be should be ordering the deck for the top of this next week he said he'll be ready so i don't know what part of next week um when he finishes the beams that's when he can take his measurements you know until the beams are in place and uh drying you know he can't get the measurement that the deck is going to be Where the rain comes from, it's kind of clouding up. The radar. The radar don't look good, but stuff pops up and disappears, you know. It could be a, look, a clear looking area and then, boom, thunderstorms just pop up out of nowhere. Or there'll be one and it'll just disappear. It'll, it'll disperse out of nowhere too so it's hard to say but the general look is that rain is trying to make it over the mountain right now and you know it's disappearing sometimes in the mountain it's not strong enough but it's building and uh normally the cement would be here but it's not so I don't know if it was raining in San Jose, where it comes from, you know, an hour away. Maybe it was raining there, and, but you see those clouds down there? They came over the mountain. Nothing came from out that way. Everything's coming from that way and this way. It's looking like it's going to rain, but the forecast is it rains for like an hour, but you know, I've seen that, oh, it's only gonna rain for 30 minutes thing before and it rained for three hours, so you never know around here. I think it's impossible to gauge the weather because you're so close to the sea and the mountain, you have no idea what it's gonna do. And then they say 100% chance of rain, sometimes it don't even rain. It might just spit a little bit and then stop and never rain again, so. Yeah, because of the cement delivery, I'll worried about it and I listened for rain all night and I just listened, heard dogs uh, <laughs> listen for rain and heard dogs all night long so I didn't sleep much you know because I had to order the stuff a couple days ago and the forecast looked better than it does now but hey it could end up great you never know 
so they cleared this place out to accept the stuff, but I don't know where it is. It seemed like it should be here by now. I don't know. So far, no rain, and uh. They already took uh, like half of it, about half of it down. So there's this to go. The weather forecast was 7 a.m. thunderstorm. Then it switched it to 8 a.m. and then 10 a.m. Then now it's 2 p.m. And then it's only a 30% chance. So hopefully I dreamed the rain away. Oh. This is some hard work right here. One bag at a time like this. Everybody got a different style. The head, the shoulder. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they walk down that bank. I don't have the balance to do that. They can do it. Nobody falls down. I can barely walk down the slope with carrying nothing. And sometimes I fall down carrying nothing, so I don't know how they do it. Run Run in that yellow shirt, he walked all the way down there without even touching the bag. Watch, he is not even touching the bag. That takes some heck of a ballast right there. I don't know how he does that. Look, no touch. Gerald does that same thing, but he's not here today. He almost slipped in it. It's really slippery right where the guy in the green is now. It's really muddy right there. It's really slippery. I've almost fell down a couple times coming down the steps when I stepped down in that mud. And then over by the uh, storage shed, it's really super slippery over there too. So they're talking about cutting this tree down right here. It's a mango tree. It's big and it's old. It produces mangoes too, but it's in the way of the house. And it's a danger to the house. And we're gonna lose it anyway when they do the road widening. Cause we're gonna put riffraff down there. So, just gotta get out of the way. That's the bad thing about uh, it's getting supplies like this. It's the bad thing about being down the slope like this, but I can't help it. That's the way it is. Whew. He's running with the bag. I don't know, scary. That's the foreman right there, Gary. He's putting a, a bag on top of your head. It's dangerous on this road up here, even. Well, that's gonna be a long driveway, too. Out to way out there. There? Yeah. Wow. I can't believe it's like a lucky day. 
It said 7 a.m. You know, it's going to thunderstorm. Then they changed it to 8 a.m. And then 10 a.m. And then 2 p.m. Only 30% chance at 2 p.m. So, I was dreaming that it wasn't going to rain. So, the cement got in there dry. Even though it was supposed to rain. So, the guys are tired. That's 260 bags of cement. There's, very, there's a few left, but not many up there. So... thing looks burnt up, don't it? Oh, and it's 220 everywhere around here, so you get zapped, you get zapped. This is the, uh, where they've been mixing lately. This will be the family room, which is gonna get floated with tile, cleaned up and floated with tile. But there was a lot of water in here today. They scooped a lot of it out. I need to get them a, a broom that is uh, like a garage broom. You know, when it's heavy duty ones. back up here again all right so i'm glad it got in here safe and sound a dog made me think about it all night long because he kept barking all night and i kept waking up thinking oh my god it's gonna rain on my cement but it was a lucky day dreams come true in many ways in minor ways also, so this is 62 to freedom, so I'm happy it got here. I know the guys, they worked super hard doing this, so I'm glad my wife made them some soup and they got to eat good, at least. You know, it's no fun carrying these concrete things, it's no fun. So, uh, I realize that, so. but I mean, it's got to be done. It is what it almost is. over, but they need some rock and sand now. So, I'm going to go see about ordering that. Uh, I'm going to find out from Gary oh, how many cubits. It's like 15 left. So, we stopped for Merienda. There's still no rain. So, that's after they've been saying it's going to be rain, rain, rain all the time in the early morning then it don't rain so that's how the forecasts go around here in the mountains by the sea you can't tell what's going to happen so there's trucks 19 are, more, more. huh 19 more 19 more i know they'll be happy it's over <laughs> hey um so the truck is three cubits now right yeah three cubic so how many cubits do you need of each one uh, about uh, six, uh, 12 by 12, uh, six, uh, gravel and, uh, six, uh, sand. Six and six? Yeah, yeah. Six cubic and six yeah, cubic? Yeah, yeah. So two, tr two trucks four, and two trucks? Yeah, four okay. trucks. All right. So this is build day 102. And Gary is measuring the sections for the decking they can measure. You know, some sections already are complete, like down there. He was measuring between the beams and the back right there. 
for the deck to buy the decking material. Hopefully we can get a point eight. It's cheaper than a one point oh than ten millimeters. Eight is to ten millimeters. So they're continuing on the form. Working on the forms where the beams have not been completed. Transferring them from one side to the other. Whatever kind of fits. So the two Marvins are working on that beam and Jojo is work. I mean, uh, Run Run is working on this beam right here, supporting it, making sure there's plenty of support. So, we don't want anything to crack. So you gotta support it. And Jojo and Mario are working on this beam right here. The uh, form that's on the beam. They probably are going to transfer it to this side over here or something. I'm not sure yet. So they're transferring all the forms to the beams that haven't been done. That's basically it. And Gary is measuring for future decking that we're going to get, have to buy. But it's super muddy down there. So, we just got, uh, they just uh, called and said that the sand and gravel people did, they ran out of gas on the way here. Guess uh, their needle or something don't work in a truck or something like that. So, they ran out of gas, but they said they're coming. That's why they're late. They said after lunch, it's already like Truck. I thought that was gonna be it, but it was not. So I guess they didn't run out of gas, you know. She called back and they said they were trying to negotiate with the um, the quarry and that they had to raise the price up. That's after she um, was promised that the price would stay the same and they would, we would stick with them. So we're switching. We're gonna switch. And uh, we're gonna use somebody else to um, bring our rock. This is his boat to he drugs up here. That's the dude right there. I never saw him before. I don't know why he brings his boat down here for, but it seems weird to me. I don't think he even lives here or nothing. So. What's up, Bill Day 102? I'll see you on the foot flop. Uh, things are looking good, you know. You just need to secure some gravel and some sand right now. They got enough to make it through. Probably today and tomorrow. That's about it. All right, peace.